What's up guys? I'm Matt Reisinger. And I'm Wade Paquin. And we are here at the JLC Live Show. It's been a minute since we've been to a trade show, hasn't it? Has. And it feels good to be back. Already yes, seeing some does. familiar faces. Yes, it does. Good energy. So JLC Live, we're in Providence, Rhode Island. It's been like two years since the show's gone on. Almost, yep. Let's go walk the floors, Wade, to see what we can find that's new and interesting and cool. Building products, tools, whatever it happens to be. The Build Show from JLC Live. Let's get going. All right, guys, check this out. Hid fast. Glenn is the inventor and the owner of the company. I always love Glenn when I can meet an inventor of a cool <laughs> product. So talk to me about this. This is not a new product, but this is not super well known, Glenn. Talk to me about this Hid fast. Correct. Hid fast is uh, the fastest way to put down decking. PVC, wood, composite. We have a positioning pin on the side here. We push that down. That will center you on the joist. Slide up. Step on the foot plate, you've got perfect angle. Never on my hands and knees. I don't handle one piece at a time. Oh yeah, you're standing straight up basically. We are the fastest way to put down decking. Okay, now what's interesting about this, guys, check it out. Here's, here's the collated nail that he just nailed in there. And this part right here is running on an angle like a flooring nailer would into the joist but you're gonna notice that there's a piece sticking out. What's going on with that, Glenn? That there is going to pick up the back edge of your next piece. Okay, so We're, we've got a uh, composite board, like a track, sir. This is uh, Wolf uh, PVC decking. Okay. This board could be 16 feet long or 20 feet long. You start on one end, I hit here, I walk down, and I keep hitting as I go. Once it hits the spacer bar, you've got an eighth inch gap. How about that? That's awesome. It is quick. And these are collated. We are the only collated hidden deck fastener on the market. So it's pretty darn quick for a production deck guy to bang these out Huge. and put these on. And then we're totally hidden, right? We are totally hidden. It's a beautiful look. It's rock solid because we have what we call a positive connection. We go through the board into the joist, just like you would with a face screw or nail. That's pretty awesome. I mean, compared to a carpenter grabbing a handful of uh, <laughs> screws or nails out of his pocket, Fumbling fussing with them. With them getting down there and nailing them in super Correct. fast. But you have a brand new gun this year, right, Glenn? I do. We came up with another tool because if we were working on decks that have a uh, complex design, maybe uh, angles to it and transition boards and diamond inlays, we can't get in there with that That's tool. That's right. This is going to do the field, but you've got these transitions that this isn't going to work on. Right. So if we cut and drop in a diamond shape pattern, we're going to have to do that with an edge fastener. So we have this tool we call Edge Fast. Edge Fast will drop down in between the board and shoot at an angle and pivot and slide to the next one and go again. That's cool, Glenn. Now that's not when I first saw that I thought, oh, that's just a you know 16 or 15 gauge finish you know, nail. trim nailer that right. you that you finish nailer you might put base on in the house that you modified, but no. This is your nail, which is really cool. Let's rip one off so you can see sure. it. Sure. It's got a uh, kind of a, a pyramid shape, and then it also looks to have some barbs in here. Talk to me about that. Correct. We uh, put some barbs to the side for holding power, but really our hold is due to shooting at an angle. Mm -hmm. We're shooting at a 35 degree angle into your joist. A lot of failures, people think nails pop and screws pop. The joist is shrinking, and as you step on the deck board, it goes down. Yep. Your fasteners, when they're straight in, they don't pull with the with grain of the wood. Right. But angles do. And on pressure treated, we're always banging it up tight because it's going to come at a higher moisture content. It's going to dry and yes. shrink on us. You are absolutely so right. So this is a gun that you're going to use on, in in a tight gap on pressure treated. But this right. guy over here creates the space. I don't, let me. Let me show you this sample real quick. He did a cool cutaway here. So that first nail that we showed, there's that nail going in, and this is the first board. This is that second board that got banged in. And check it out, it creates that spacer and that gap. Now, Glenn, can I get these in stainless? Yes, those for the HIDFAST tool are only 304 stainless steel. They're only stainless. Yes, with EdgeFast, because we're working with a, a lower cost pressure treated board, we offer our edge coat uh, coated faster, 50% okay. less than a stainless. And you can get stainless too. We obviously. do get stainless as well. Man, Glenn, so cool. I love it, brother. I Always appreciate great when your a builder invents something. <laughs> HIDFast.com to learn more.
All right, guys, coming to you from the Duration booth. Now, Wade, you've done a lot of cedar on your houses. Have you ever done this product? This is Boral. No, this caught my eye. We, as you know, you've seen a lot of my projects where you do a lot of cedar shakes, yeah. eastern white cedar, whether it's stained, two coats, semi-transparent. Yep. Uh, but this essentially is the Boral product, right? Yeah, and if you're not familiar with Boral, it's a pretty interesting story. This is like 70% fly ash. No moisture intake, no uh, reason to gap it because it doesn't absorb, it doesn't move on you, and it takes paint beautifully. I know several builders that swear by this stuff. But when I think of uh, duration in the past, I think of these products. They've got a lot of these beautiful, what do we call these again? This is a- Clapboards. Uh, clapboard, thank you. And this looks like a, a super traditional four inch clapboard, but they've also got these really deep reveal clapboards over there. But this really caught my eye at the Duration booth. This is brand new for these guys this mm -hmm. year. Talk to me about this. Well, it looks like they come in about four foot length sections. Yep. And on the smaller piece here, what I like is when you get these things budding up, they did a nice job on each end of kind of rabbiting that out. So when the pieces butt together, they move this piece, it creates that, that little uh, gap line, that shadow gap. Yeah, you'd never be able to tell where one you'd panel never ends, tell. would you? And what's nice about this too is, you know, typically we'll set four to five inches maybe, um, but you can go up to a six inch spacing here on, With the same on this. panel, so, yeah. four, five, six, whatever mm -hmm. you need. Which That's is pretty, pretty cool. cool. So you have those options. Now my understanding is these are gonna come raw and then you can paint these with whatever paint you want. But what's cool about this is because there's no moisture absorption, we don't need to prime the back on these. We don't need to uh, do anything special. So there's just the raw material on the back. That can be right up against your zip sheathing, let's say, or your air gap, whatever you're doing. Yeah. Cool products. And this would be very efficient. It makes quick work of putting up uh, the, si the siding, you know, yeah. your cladding. Yeah, I like this. I'll link, I'll link for the uh, duration website below, but these guys are selling all over the nation. Cool booth. So we're at the Stabila booth, and this is one booth that I like here at the show because you can actually buy product. If you're a builder, you can get a discount. I'm always buying levels, or I buy an entire level kit. One thing that's kind of my go-to, I have this in my truck, I use it all the time for measuring jobs, this little digital uh, tape measure. And I've got Mike here, uh, a rep with Stabila. Tell us a little bit about some of the awesome functions or features of this. Little uh, laser distance measure, very simple to use. I'm gonna just show you quickly. I'm gonna just, uh, wherever the red dot is, that's where I'm measuring to. I'm gonna hit the button. It's 13 feet, 10 and five eight inches from here to the curtain. It measures from the back of the unit. Accuracy is at 132nd over the range of the product, which in this case is 100 feet. Mm -hmm. So it's extremely accurate, very easy to use. Hit the button, hit the button again, wherever the green, again, wherever the red dot is, that's what you're measuring to. Yep, quick to reset and get your next measurement. Reset and do the next measurement. It's got memory, it'll save your last 10 measurements. It also has a Bluetooth function. So you can actually take your measurements and with the Bluetooth function, send them to your phone, send them to your computer. You don't have to write anything down. And I believe you, you can get like the, you can measure a room and get like the square footage you on that. You can do through square, you can function. do cube. Yeah. yeah, just an awesome little product. The key is, the, the trick is you, you got to play with it until the point where you trust it and right. then you're going to use it all right. the time. Right, and that's where I'm at. So. Um, accuracy is extremely, extremely good. It's very small, very light. It takes uh, AAA batteries. you got 40 hours of runtime on a set of batteries. Yeah, mine's uh, lasting a quite a while. Tool, not expensive, a hundred, a little over a hundred bucks. Um, once you understand what you can do with this thing, you're going to use it all the time. Can I mention one application? Sure, go ahead. Uh, crown moldings. Two guys, two ladders, and a saggy tape. One guy, one ladder, no saggy tape. Good point. And then there's 500 other things. Yeah. Well, thanks, Mike. Guys, Thank uh, check this product out. Probably can get it online somewhere on the website, I presume, right? Yes. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks. All right, guys, we're at the Modern Mill booth, and they have a product that I think is really interesting called Acre. Now, Brian, tell me about this. This looks like a standard deck board, but this is not a standard deck board, is it? It's not a standard deck board, actually, Matt. It's a it is a PVC material, but it's made by uh, using rice hulls, which kind of is nature's wasted Kevlar. It protects the rice as it grows. And by doing this, we actually allow for an installation and a use of product for a contractor that's identifying like the, the warmth and the benefits of wood, but with the features and benefits you expect from a PVC. Wild, so like half rice hull, half PVC, 
But here's what really caught my attention. Check this out. They've got some stain samples back here, and they even have some stains that they were using. You don't see PVC that takes a stain, Brian. <laughs> no, not not often. And the and the face of this really looks like a wood grain. Is that from the is that happening from the rice hull? It's it's happening in the manufacturing and the the it's almost hydrophobic enough so that a stain in the paint's not going to absorb all the way in. The coverage rate on this is great. It's going to take a just a, a light amount. A, a dark paint. It, it's black approved by some of our, some paint manufacturers. Yeah, there's a dark stain right there. Right. That's wild. And you know, being that it is, you know, not a wood, although you, you get the benefits, it doesn't have a lot of dust, it's easy on your tools. It also has benefits just from kind of woodworking point of view. You can kind of heat move, f form this and mold this. You know, this shows just with some, um, some adhesive, a real interesting install that this is actually gonna be used in a job. This is a profile that's being used right now, as well as some woodworking capabilities too. I mean, it really looks like wood seeing that. This, this version that's a little less shiny, super, I mean, a really good fake. It looks like real wood to me. Talk to me about expansion and contraction, some of the other downsides that I think of from PVC trims. Yeah, and that, it'll exist. We're not gonna make a perfectly unmovable product, but there, yeah. there is some expansion and contraction. But luckily, you know, we're foresight enough to think that our install instructions are gonna take care of that. Ship lapping this product allows for that movement yeah. like you would normally expect. Gotcha. How do people get this, Brian? Or how can you learn more about it? You know, I would just say call your high-end lumber yard because we're blanketing the, uh, the, you know, the, the New England market right now uh, through distribution through uh, lumber yards. Very interesting product. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Matt. Very cool. Great. All right, guys, coming to you from the Rockwell booth, you know, I love their displays. If you ever seen them at a trade show, because they give you a really visual demonstration on several things. They they don't have the sound tunnel here like I've seen at the IBS show, but look at the Bunsen burner going on the back of that insulation. And over on the other side here, they've got this dripping faucet going on this insulation for the entire trade show. And you can see that it's hydrophobic. It's running that water right off. And speaking of running off the outside of exterior insulation, check this out. Here's what's new from these guys. They have a five inch thick R21 comfort board for the outside insulation on the house. That is crazy thick R21 too. Always fun to see my friends at Rockwell. All right guys, if you saw the video I made at my house under construction, I got this brand new tool that I got to use at my house that I was really, my carpenters were super impressed by. It's called the door stud. It's a roller system that slides on your doors. They make them in several different sizes. This looks like an inch and three quarter door, but you can also use this on an inch and three eighths or even bigger doors. These guys actually custom made one for my house where I was doing a big old hidden door that was three inches thick. But basically what you're doing is you're gonna drop your door onto these rollers. You're gonna put your level in there and get it all leveled up and you can use these uh, adjusters to get it all leveled. And then the carpenter is not wrenching and muscling this door. Think about how easy that's gonna make for a pocket door install, let's say, where you're, you're trying to get all those uh, hardware from cavity slider all perfectly adjusted and that door hung. Or if you were fitting an old door like this, or maybe a new door into an old jam, really cool tool. You can learn more on their website. You got going on in South Carolina. It sounds like your homeowner has watched some of my videos. Is that right? Yeah, he has. You got to film an outro, Matt. Yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. Hey, Mark, sorry, dude. Can I finish this yeah, real quick? Absolutely. All right, sounds good. All right, guys, JLC, it has been super fun. Builders like Mark, builders from all over the country that have been watching my videos. So fun to hear from them that they've been helpful. But really some interesting products and tools we've seen here. I wasn't able to cover everything. I also want to say a big thanks to Wade for helping me co-host this. He actually got a call about the baby and had to head home a little early, but go follow Wade on Instagram. And if you're not familiar with his videos, he's also shooting over on buildshownetwork.com and publishing new content over there. I also want to say a big thanks to my friends here at the Huber booth. They had their Prove It tour here. They had a bunch of builders come out for the happy hour. Great to hang out with those guys. And earlier in the day, I had a really fun live demo at the Polywall booth talking about their fluid applied flashings. Gave away a bunch of hats and shirts. It was really fun to meet some like-minded builders. Guys, if you're not currently a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below. We've got new content here every Tuesday and every Friday. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Otherwise, we'll see you next time on The Build Show.